I'm a retired librarian from the public school system and I have two children and then two grandchildren. They're my heart. <laughs> Knew that I couldn't afford a home in the Asheville area and I just thought, let me see what Habitat has to offer. What I found in Asheville was that Every time I had an increase in income, there was a greater increase in the cost of housing. Uh, and until a little over a year ago, I had pretty much given up hope that I would ever be able to buy a house. I saw this program as a way to have a place where I could age in place in a safe community with safe and decent housing. I am gonna be a first time homeowner at 60. One of my daughters is just going to live a mile away with my two grandchildren, which is, oh my God, I couldn't ask for more. You know, it's just so ideal. And this, to me, is going to be my home for the rest of my life. So just all those things put together made Habitat the perfect place to be. And I'm looking forward to building a community here. You know, I'm going to be among the first residents out here. So, you know, I get to be on the welcoming committee for the next family that moves in. And um, I'm really looking forward to that. Michelle and I attended Habitat's Blueprint Breakfast a few years ago and were impressed by the scope of impact. The home ownership model is helping families build better futures. The Home Repair Program is helping aging adults live and move safely in the homes they already own. We think Deerfield and Asheville's Habitat for Humanity are a match made in heaven. Both of our organizations focus on housing and building a sense of community. Our missions are aligned as well. We're both faith-based and we're both interested in making an impact not only within our organizations but in the community at large. We were inspired to discover a way for Deerfield to partner with Habitat to help low-income older adults buy a home of their own. The Deerfield Charitable Foundation was in its infancy and this was a perfect inaugural project for us to work out with Habitat. As a community, we really have been exploring ideas how to complement serving others that don't live at Deerfield. And so we, a few years ago, we um, reached out to Andy Barnett with Habitat. I got a call from Bob Burnett uh, one day, kind of out of the blue. I didn't really know where this was, uh, where this was going. I assumed that it was, you know, connected to the many different ways that Deerfield partners with Habitat. You know, they're involved uh, in our Episcopal Bill. They have Deerfield residents that are core volunteers with us. We've done a lot of partnerships with, with the Restore and Deconstruction from Deerfield. I went out to Deerfield. We had a lovely lunch in their, in their cafeteria. Bob and I caught up a little bit. And then he leaned forward and he said, you know, we're really struggling here at Deerfield to figure out how we make a difference in affordable housing. I sat back and I thought this was just one of those moments, you know, that, that uh, um, you know, serendipity, coincidence, the movement of God, whatever you want to call it, you know, because I said, Bob, we've really been struggling about how we can better engage housing for older adults. And a partnership was born at that moment. And so Andy did some research on his own of the region and what was available in other communities. He came back to us with a, a proposal in short order. Deerfield helped us out with the seed money to get this project off the ground, but they also made a really deep commitment to, uh, to pilot this model at New Heights Drive. There are eight aging in place townhomes here, all of them sponsored by Deerfield. When it became clear that we were gonna be building an aging in place product, the first thing we did was uh, look for an architectural firm to partner with in the design of that product. And the process was really interesting. We worked with the architect on a stakeholder meeting where we had folks in the community who are well versed in universal design as well as who work in elder care come in and meet with us and help us understand what elements these homes really needed to have in order to accommodate older adults. I really like that it's thoughtfully designed so I can age in place. It'll be easier to clean and take care of. I have a fully accessible bathroom should I need that. 
I like the open concept, which is really family friendly. So, you know, you can sit in the living room, see people in the kitchen, you know, I like that. The porch is so cute. I love it, you know, to sit outside with my little dog, Henry. <laughs> and I love that I can walk around the neighborhood with him because there's sidewalks. When we talk about universal design, what it really means is that these homes are designed for people to be able to grow older in and they are designed from a perspective of that they, they work for the for the homeowner now um, but either include elements that will support them as they get older or are easily modifiable to uh, suit their needs as they get older for instance uh, at a very basic level uh, doorknobs that you're used to being round but that can sometimes be hard to grab with older hands are now all replaced with lever knobs that are very easy to use. Another really simple element that separates these units from other units that we build is that house is built on a slab and it is designed that you will never have to maneuver steps or up steep ramps. So these homes are designed as one bedroom plus a flex space. And in the early days of ownership for these homeowners, that space could be an office or a reading room or a TV room. Um, it could be configured with a, a twin bed or bunk beds for grandkids to use when they spend the night. And as the, as the homeowner gets older, if they needed in-home care overnight, that space could be configured as a place for overnight care to stay as well. The first time I saw the floor plan, I thought, I'll have everything that I need in this smaller space without stairs, without more to clean. I'm gonna have a yard for the first time. So, <laughs> you know, it can be elaborate or not, but you know, being able to uh, take ownership of that is really interesting too. And we're thrilled with the new venture that we're doing together with the Aging in Place Homes. And we were so um, especially thrilled that we were able to integrate these into the New Heights subdivision. You know, we think about aging in place, and a lot of the times we focus on aging, you know, in that, in that statement. And when we go down that road, we quickly get into the, you know, how high should the grab bars be, and you know, all those physical space parts of making home safe and making it accessible. But it's just as important to focus on the last half of that phrase, aging in place. What is the place and what is going to make people want to love this place and want to be here uh, for a long time? And so thinking about how we integrated um, these units into a neighborhood that had kids and has multi-generational families and has single individuals and you know to really create a space that functions as a real community. My favorite thing about Habitat Neighborhoods is the diversity. You know, I'm just as happy to hear kids screaming and playing in their yard as I am to, you know, to have quiet time with a next door neighbor. And I think the folks that are moving into the aging in place units, like, I hope that we'll be here to support each other and help when we're needed. To have your own place, I think, gives you a sense of stability. In the long term, having that and knowing that for the foreseeable future, I have a place to live. I look at this as kind of a bigger picture too. I'm also moving into a community of people who've also had this experience. It's got a multicultural and a multi-generational component, and that's so important to me. And uh, the community component, you know, just having that as I age to, to keep me active. I just have met so many people in the classes I took. I know my neighbors, <laughs> and I love it. In aging, it's not always easy to get out and meet new people, and this has been a mode for me to get to know some people and, and to think that I'll have this community to live in just is excellent. And you know, every time I walk past them and see the finished product, it just makes me so excited for the, for the folks who will get to own these units and live in these units. I appreciate that folks who uh, care about others in their community will make an effort to do this so that so that I can have a home you know so that Ann can have a home and Dougie and Barbara I think we all feel a tremendous sense of indebtedness to Deerfield for funding this and making sure that we can have um, housing at a time in our lives when the housing landscape looks pretty bleak in other places 
So they really made a difference, you know. This program really is changing lives.